number four, trash day. Trash day here in Taiwan is not the normal trash day that we have like back home in the States. There's not just one designated day for you and your, for you to pull out your big trash cans um, to the curb. That's not how things work here. The trash truck comes five days a week, twice a day, and that is for reasons that I will explain a little bit later on, but you will hear a little melody and everyone has to run downstairs and take their bags and pink trash bags and give them to the guy coming around in the trash truck. And it's, do not be fooled, it is not the ice cream man, but you would swear that it is. Take a look. Day is is something that I'm just getting used to it's really not that big of a deal but it is it's it's different <laughs> it's really different but honestly it is needed to come so often numero cinco all right I should definitely be practicing my Chinese not my Spanish anyway number five got my size here. <sighs> they don't know how my size. If you are a size 8 and up in shirts, bottoms, and shoes, you will not find anything here, fam. You just not you just not, at least if you are watching this video and you know where I can get some clothes, let me know because I can't find she, okay? Nada, zip, nothing. I went shopping one day in the mall and I saw the cutest, most dope Batman sweatshirt I have ever seen in my life. I had to cop it. But I tried it on, it was a women's large and I put that thing on me and I thought I was about to rip it, okay. Rip I grip it, okay, I was going to rip the thing. Um, one of the sales associates came, came up to me and she looked at me and she was like, men, men, you, you need men, men size, men size. Part of me was like, whatever. Men's clothes are usually more comfortable and they have some really cool selections sometimes. So it wasn't that big of a deal. So I went over to the men's department and I picked up the same sweatshirt that I saw, but it was an extra large. So I said, why not? Normally, I wear a size small or medium in men's back home, but when I tried on that men's extra large, it barely fit. And let me tell you, <laughs> my self-esteem dropped in that moment because if I wore a men's extra large back home it would be swallowing me whatever it was but I tried on that men's extra large here and it fit in the arms but it was a little short it didn't fit in the chest for obvious reasons it fit everywhere else except for the shoulders as well. So I was literally like a mummy, standing like a mummy in a men's extra large. 
yeah, like I said, my self-esteem took a toll on that one. So just know if you come shopping here, ladies, men, whatever, you guys are going to have to shop at probably a big and tall store if you can find one. But you will not be going shopping at the malls, going in and out of stores, and looking in H&M or whatever, okay? You skinny minis out there, you're in luck. Generally, Asian people are a little bit smaller than we are in Western countries, so their sizes run small, but for Crystal, this girl right here, they ain't got enough for me, homie. They really don't. You could probably find some shoes, but in large sizes, they do come to you and far between, and the selection isn't the best. So either you online shop in place and you have to ship it over, or you're just gonna have to wait until you go back home. Luckily, I found this out before I came here, so pretty, I pretty much packed up all my clothes and brought them with me here um, and my shoes as well but I probably won't be doing any shopping here even though they have a great shopping district here and speaking of shopping that leads us to number six on the list um, and that is there aren't really any one-stop shops here in Taiwan like your Targets, your Walmarts, your those kind of stores. There is a store called Care For. Um, they call it the Taiwanese uh, Walmart. I have been there a few times and you can get almost any and everything there. However, it costs a little bit extra than it would at other places. But most stores here, they sell like general, like one thing. Um, I believe it or not, I passed by a store that only sold silverware. No plates, no nothing, just silverware. Um, I stopped by, passed by another place and they only sold light bulbs and light fixtures. Like that was, that was, all they sold in their store and there are plenty of other stores like that that are just like one thing here and there here and there um, but those general department stores that kind of you kind of have free range you can go here and there in that department and that department and that department and kind of get what you need I personally have not seen any stores like that. It's, they come to you in far between. So that's, it kind of stinks, but at the same time, it's really not that big of a deal. I just gotta, gotta find different stores for, um, for my different things that I need to pick up. So yeah. Oh, how I miss Target. If they had a Target here, boo. Yo, I would be all up in it, but unfortunately, that is not the case. They do have Costco here, and then you can use your your um your membership from your other from your country wherever you are from here as well. But I was never a member, and I generally don't buy things in bulk, so it's not that big deal, big of a deal for me. But for the Costco lovers, they do have that here, and they have a lot. And Ikea, they love Ikea here. So if you're a huge Ikea fan as well, there you go. But I'm not shopping for furniture, so that doesn't really help me either. And last but not least, number seven. <laughs> number seven. Number seven is probably something that I will probably never get used to um, while I will be living here. It's the one thing that if I never had to experience this, I would be completely okay. Um, 
My number one biggest culture shock for me was that is that you cannot flush your toilet paper here. My first two weeks of being here, it was a struggle to get used to. Um, I made a few mistakes. I accidentally flushed my toilet paper a, a few times. Um, I mean, hey, I wasn't I wasn't used to it, but I knew that I couldn't keep doing that. The reason why you cannot flush your toilet paper here is because Taiwan's sewage system is so sensitive. Um, buildings are super, super tall, and generally they're a lot older. They kind of are just renovated on the inside and not really the exterior, obviously, and um, the plumbing as well. Um, so since it is so big and the buildings are a little bit older, all the piping is kind of like intertwined and flipped and all that jazz. So also there's a lot of people that live in this one area. So if a lot of people are flushing toilet paper and the pipes are like this and the buildings are old, it's gonna get stuffed up very quickly and very easily and that can cause a lot of damage um, and nobody wants that. So general, so they made a rule pretty much everywhere in Taiwan, whether you're in the big city or down in the smaller rural areas, you cannot flush your toilet paper. <laughs> Like I said, I did mess up a few times, but I realized that I could not keep doing that. Even if I had enough money to, to pay for the plumbing in my entire apartment building, I'm not trying to do that though. So I had come up with a very annoying and very disgusting solution. Um, I have wooden coffee stirs and so if I accidentally drop my toilet paper in the commode I have to take the wooden stick fish out my toilet paper and throw it away in the trash can and y'all it is just to constantly some of you guys are thinking like, Crystal, it's not that big of a deal. No, y'all, it is that big of a deal because it's, you don't just do it for number one. You do it for number two. You do it for number three. And ladies, you gotta do it for that time of the month as well. You have to wipe and throw it in the trash can. Like, that is just... <laughs> So unsanitary and just so disgusting to me, y'all. Like, it's just, I don't think I'll ever truly get used to it. Like, of course I'm doing it, but it's so nasty. It's so nasty, like, to wipe and not just let it go away, but to have it sit there in your bathroom. It's... It's so, such a taboo and ugh thing to me that I even had to, I bought doggy bags. Like, you know, like when you're walking around with your doggy and it drops a deuce and you have to pick it up with the, with the little bag. I have bought bags to put my tissues and my, my lady things into the bag so that it's not just sitting on top of my trash can and you know I have the trash can that closes because that cannot just be out in the open like that. That's 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 a no no. That is a no no. So it is it is something that uh, it's it's I'm sorry y'all this is this is like my my biggest thing so i have to talk about it i have to 
to let y'all know that this was the biggest culture shock thing that I have had to deal with so far. I never realized that flushing my toilet paper would ever be a privilege. And it is, and it's such a crazy, and that is why I am so grateful that the trash man comes five days a week, twice a day, because people really want to get that out of their house. And I don't blame them, because I do the same thing, like, no, like after about two days of having my stuff sit in the freaking trash can, it's got to go. It's got to go. Okay, it's it's got to go. I can't. For all of you people out there that can flush your toilet paper, know that this girl right here is hella jealous of you, fam. Like hella jealous. Alrighty, beautiful people, that is all I have for you for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button to let me know that you did. Also, don't forget to comment below if you were surprised about anything that I talked about today on this video. Also, if you have any other suggestions for future videos that you would like to see on my channel, please let me know as well. That would be very helpful in the making and the planning of my future thingies. <laughs> Again, do not forget to share with your friends and subscribe. Click that little red button down there to see this beautiful face on your phone, tablet, laptop, etc. Again, my name is Crystal and I will see you guys in the next video. You have been watching Kate C. Overseas. Woo!